Hello, everybody. My name is Mathis, and welcome back to Jalopy. Pardon the fucking wild hair today. I should be getting my hair cut in the next few days. Anyway, uh, I have officially put on mirrors. Mirrors should work now, and everything should be good. Uh, we're going to head back out on the road today. But I'm curious if I want to be bringing any spares or anything. Do I have, like, a... Like, what do I want to grab here? Maybe we should be bringing some of this stuff with us. Hang on, Uncle. Why don't we put this here? Yeah, and we'll drop this here. We'll grab some new oil. Maybe plop that in there if we can. Pop that. We'll drop this. Boom. Can I open this? this is, oh, this is decal remover? Is that what this is? I don't have a decal, so... Down you go. Okay. We're actually going to carry this box with us because if we can get a crowbar, people said we can pop this thing open. Uh, so I'm excited to to do that. Other than that, everything should be good uh, with the car. I assume the car kind of goes back to a, a normal operating state. We could put in... We'll just top it off, I guess, with the gasoline here. We might as well. Okay. And we'll we'll dab a little bit of extra oil into it. And we gotta take our uncle out on a, on, a, on another trip and try again for for some better a better go. Optimal mix. All right, uncle. Let's go. Good morning. Shall we go on another journey today? Yes, uncle. Another journey we shall go on. In we go. The keys are just above you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Don't worry about it, buddy. There we go. You need to select a route for the map. Of course. Hopefully a nice easy route this time around. We'll see. Ooh, what's this? Route one, question mark, gas, and that. Why don't we go sunny question mark route? Because we have enough gas and oil to last us, I think. Um, so that's what we're going to do. All right, uncle. Handbrake off. Are you ready? Look at that. The mirror works. We can kind of just move it around. Off we go into the jalopy. Off we go onto the road. So begins our journey towards Dresden. Uh, we'll be traveling to the autobahns first for the first part, so we should give you a chance to get the grips of Laika. Well, it's fine. A nice easy start here with me and good old Uncle Criminal, probably. He has a mysterious past, so it seems. So it seems to be the... the point of the game as well, uh, to learn about your uncle's past and see what that's all about, uh, which is cool. I'm into it. Give me a little story. And I thank you guys for watching as well. Um, it's not the most, you know, not a popping off series, but there's enough people who want to see more that I'm willing to, to go about a little longer and see if I can get a little further. At least give this an one another trip uh, to see how far we can go. And then we'll see what the interest is like after that. Um, but I like it. Games like this where there's just a little bit of simulation, kind of have to worry about parking and opening your car the right way and, and keeping parts repaired and, and stuff. That stuff's really fun for me. I don't know why it's like that mundanity that, that is enjoyable. I think I'm going to talk to Ryan about this game soon because he's he really likes, like I do, like Euro Truck Simulator stuff. So I imagine he would probably enjoy this game. Uh, at least some level. There's a, weird, there's a weird kind of like rogue light-ish elements with it as well. Look at us ripping through this rotary here. No problem. Ooh, perfect. Done. And the fact that we have a, a working mirror means I don't have to, like, turn my ass all the way around. I imagine you can turn off uh, the mirrors for the sake of performance. You know, it's a clear, curious feeling being on the road again after such a long time. All the years in the GDR. All right, well, I don't really care. Look at me wobbling back and forth from the road. It's hard to tell, man. It's hard to tell. At least the car is kind of going at a decent rate. Seems all of our miles from the first trip ended up carrying over. So I guess it's like the actual car? Or is it like this is the story that we go, we go, we go until our car can't anymore, and then when we return home, we kind of get like the car towed home, and we have to go through it all again? It doesn't make much sense. I know I wasn't born here. All right. So being one of the people, like family working together for each other. That was uncommon where he lived. Whoop. There's a car somewhere nearby. But 
Can I not? See, here's the thing. I can't actually leave my car until the thing is in uh, park. Woo! Fuck you, man. Ooh, that's how we do it. You just wait. Yeah, well, I'm busy. All right, we're just gonna take some textiles. All right, here. You run that over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. Wow. Off we go. I had to steal some textiles from a box. We, our jalopy goes so slow. All right, let's, let's cut road. Let's like swap lanes here. It'd be funny if they like flipped us off or something. Is there another box? Another one. Hazards. Sorry, we had to pull over. Hazards, hazards. Excuse me. What is it? Medicine. Oh, heck yeah. I think I'm gonna replace some of the textiles with that. Um. Dang it. All right, well. Listen. Uncle, don't don't judge me, okay? It's a long trip. Oops. It's a long trip. I have my hazards on, so you can't be mad at me anymore. They're not beeping, so that's good. Now they're beeping. So the hazards do work. As intended, I think. I don't know why they don't swap lanes. I guess their AI won't let them. Go, be free. Enjoy your freedom. I'm here to, whoa! I don't know why he turned lane so hard, Jesus. Putting along here in the world Where we're looking for freedom in another country, girl. That's what we do. That's how we live. Freedom for uncle and his little nephew. Listen, I tried, okay? Looks like we're gonna kind of hit the same motel and everything else along the way. That is fine with me. Oh, my car's starting to break down, but if we can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Uncle, I'm sorry. Should have let you say what you always wanted to say. I'm gonna see if I can make it all the way here. All right, can't go that way. I wonder if it's like a shortcut that'll open, open, open up at some point. If we can make it to that city, we can skip the Dresden thing and go a little bit further, a little bit faster. Very shortcut esque. I, I can just look in the mirror. I don't know why I looked in uh, behind me. Habit from the first couple of episodes. We got a gas station coming up. Short, short, short plats. We can get to a scrap yard if we turn off here. We might be able to find some useful parts. That is, if we can figure out how to get past the locked gates. Oh, we'll give it a shot. A scrap yard. We didn't know there was a question mark down here, and this is what we're going to get. We're not going to get a gas station, actually. You stay here, Uncle Creeper. I got things to check out. All right. What is this? Huh. Stock engine, stock fuel tank, stock carburetor, and a battery. So if we take our battery out, Hmm. There we go. There we 
go. All right. We're here. Wow, we're a very difficult locked gate indeed. What do we got? Uh, HSK squash engine. Why don't we take that? This sounds like it's already better than what we've got. Hey, don't mind me. Stock engine. And we'll just drop this here. So that is 3.5 seconds 0 to 80. 19 seconds to, uh, to 0 to 80. 130 kilometers top speed. Minus 30 kilometer top speed. 16 kilograms of weight. 38 kilograms of weight. Well, we need to repair some stuff anyway. So why don't we grab this and start doing some repairs. I mean, pretty much anything we come across is going to be better. Well, and it's gone. Well, can I take this and put it in here? Nope. That's fine. You know what? Drop that engine. I can carry that thing around like a champ, by the way. Pretty damn good at it. Stout HSK fuel tank. A stout 33 liter fuel tank should be mixed with two stroke oil. HSK for ultimate power. Minus five liters of fuel, no oil mix, plus two kilograms of weight. Doesn't mean I don't need oil in it. I'm not entirely sure if that's a good thing. We could grab it. Is there a man in here? Should I be, am I stealing? Uh, green ramshackle engine. Looks terrible. I assume red is bad. That's kind of just my video game logic. I hope I'm not passing up something amazing. What is that? Nothing. Hello? Hello? Okay, nobody's here. I wonder if I should be driving this thing in. All right, well, we got a new engine. I think it's better. I really have no idea. But... We could also replace some of these parts that are nasty and busted up. Like our stock air filter needs to be replaced more or less. Why is this engine all fucked up? Maybe not? Alright, well, we're going with this. Alright, Uncle. Let's see if this is any good. Alright, it's on. That's a start. And we're moving, which is another start. Whoop, 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 whoop. A little bit, a little bit wrong. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's, everything's okay. Uh, let's turn on our lights. There we go. Beautiful. On the road again. Back on the road again. Drive the street again. Hope for the best day with Uncle Bad Guy. Hey, hey, hey. Off we go today. There we go. Let's clean up the windshield. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We didn't think the vision would ever escalate to what it did, but it did practically overnight. Well, that's the earth. That's how it works. People be bad and they want to segregate other people. I'm glad we uh, don't live in those times anymore. <clears throat> so is it just going to lead us right to the border then? Where we will just kind of jump over the border? Oh, 
Yeah, actually. The store there. You know, we need to hit the store up because I want to get a crowbar. So why don't we just park right here? Oh, I need to get money. Uncle. <sighs> Dang it, man. I like how you can open the door and sometimes it just actually won't open. Alright. Hey, how's it going? This doesn't look like a store. This looks like a restaurant. Greetings! Feel free to look through our catalog. Well, what is our catalog? What do you what is this place? What? Is this a new car catalog? Oh, new engines and stuff. We can just buy more stuff. I have no idea if that's something I should be buying right now. How about I just rob you? Would that work? Whoa, frame droppage. What is going on? I knocked on that door and it went down to 30 frames a second like crazy. Nope, we're down to 30 again. What is going on? And definitely ain't the space on my hard drive, I'll tell you that much. I made sure that shit was clean and empty. All right, let's go, Uncle. Let's see if we can find a place to sleep for the night. Down the road again. I don't know why, like, that specific song is stuck in my head. But it is. I don't think that's anything. Let's keep moving. Except for right here, the outer shop. Uncle, I need your money again. Thanks. Appreciate it. Don't mind me. I need a crowbar. That's all. We should be good on fuel and such. Hello. Do you have a crowbar? Yes, you do. Whoa, off-road tires. Very fancy. Tire repair kit, also very fancy. Cigarettes, not as fancy. What is this? Coffee beans. Medicine. Sausages. I guess we might need to eat at some point. Thank you. Put that back. All right. Now, Uncle, you have to bear with me, because I have a gigantic crate in the trunk, and I've had it for a while, and I need to know what the heck it is. So, we're going to drop it. It's a bunch of cigarettes. Okay. Can I not? <coughs> oh, God. Can I not put this in here? I can. And just that goes over there. Okay. Can I just sell these to you? Is that like the thing I can do? Would you like to buy my cigarettes that I suddenly have? I don't know where I can sell them. Maybe you'll buy them. I need my wallet. I'm gonna make money though, fam. I'm gonna make so much cash. What a what a great first day. And there's the border. All right, first I apparently need to bring my wallet so she can put the money in the wallet because that's just how this world works, I guess. God damn it. We'll keep that one last box just in case. I'm gonna keep these here. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose the wallet. Hey. Thank you. Have a good one. Enjoy selling those. You're welcome. Stupid lady buying cigarettes for me at an exorbitant price. She don't know what she's got. Okay. We'll keep this. Oh. Spare cash. 
Eventually, anyway. Perfect. Let's go. Jalopy. Great game. There's a motel and return tomorrow. There's a motel? Uncle. I had no idea it was a motel. Where the heck is this motel? Good thing I sold all the cigarettes, huh? Over, up oh, right there. So I guess it's like, your city block is kind of like your in-between levels thing. Where you have to like, save and buy things and all kinds of things. Which is cool. All right, I'll take the money. Cause God knows you ain't gonna pay, uncle. You know I'm doing you this favor, just saying. Ding dong. Yeah, I will be staying with you tonight. 1B. Thank you. Put the money away. Uncle, it's 1B, dude. I'll be there before you do. I'm always walking with a hunch, you know what I'm saying? Just gotta knock, you know, be polite, make sure nobody's there. Whoop! Alright, Uncle. You sleep so I can read your briefcase. The market, the trader, upgrade the car at the Leica dealership. She's the bed when you're done for the day and we can get some sleep. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Good night, Uncle. Oh, yeah, you look real tired. Oh, oh, there you go. Did my door just open? Thought I heard a door. All right, let's see what this says. It's going to read and be creepy. Yeah, we already read that. You compelled to remind you that I'll communicate. Yeah, we already we already did all that. Good night, good night, Uncle. I'm going to bed. Whoop, I went through the floor. Quick, quick, close your eyes before it gets too crazy. We're going to wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, we're going to continue our trip uh, tomorrow with uh, with a good old Uncle Luthoff. And hopefully things go well for us. If you enjoyed, you let me know in the comment section below. And I'll whoop, see you next time. Bye-bye.